All right, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to Freddy the Whippets YouTube channel. Today, we are going to be looking at eight reasons whippets are terrible pets. If, firstly, if you're looking for a dog for protection, a whippet is a terrible choice for you. Whippets are the least aggressive, least confrontational dogs out there. They're very dainty, very delicate usually like to keep themselves to themselves after a little run around they just kind of happy being under a blanket somewhere or between your legs for a cuddle for the rest of the day if you have a knock at the door or a knock at the window or there's a bang in the garden they're not really going to show any interest the only thing they're really going to get up for is a rustling packet or some biscuits being thrown on the floor freddie's gone for a drink Number two, if you're looking for a dog as a companion, but also a dog that doesn't get involved in your personal space every two minutes. Whippets are very needy, very affectionate dogs. So wherever you sit down, they're going to want to sit there too. If you want to take five minutes and take yourself to the bathroom just for a little bit of private time, you can expect to knock at the door. And if you've left the door slightly ajar, you best believe a whippet will join you put their face in between your legs and just kind of stare at you as if to say, what are you up to? Number three, if you work full time. Like I previously mentioned in number two, whippets are needy and they do enjoy their owner's company most of the time. Freddie, are you gonna stop walking about me? That's, oh, he's doing so well, he's doing so well. Good boy, good boy, good boy. That's so if you're out of the house for eight to nine hours a day the whip is really gonna miss you number four if you have a fast and loud household maybe you've got some kids who are growing up and maybe they're going through puberty or i don't know your husband's stressed out after work and wants to throw his toys out of the pram this isn't exactly an ideal living situation for a whippet for after all whippets do like quiet time they do enjoy their own space, but they also enjoy being with their owner for some nice, quiet, peaceful cuddles. Whippets are playful dogs, but they're certainly not going to get along well in a household where there's shouting, screaming or anything of the sort. Number five, if you live in a cold climate. Whippets have a very fine coat and their bellies and their legs and their neck area is mostly just bare skin. They can get away with living in a cold climate, but it does mean them having to wear jumpers, jumpers and jackets, which isn't always the most convenient. And if you do live in a cold climate, you're just better off looking for a more suitable dog for colder temperatures. Even in the house, sometimes if the heating hasn't been on, Freddy will be cold. Whippets are known to have cold ears if they if their body temperature is cold, so you can use their ears to feel uh, as like a little guidance as to how they're feeling temperature wise. And most of the time, Freddy does have chilly ears. The heating's on right now and he's about perfect and it's warm in here. Number six. Number six is a little bit controversial, but I've written it down anyway because it's something that um, I would bear in mind if I was looking at buying a Whippet today. If you don't have a field local to you, and you are expecting to walk a whippet just around the block and do like city walks. I personally wouldn't advise that. Whippets do need a burst. They do need a run. They need to be able to be let off the lead and to just run around and be donuts for 10 to 15 minutes. After that period, they will calm down a lot and they will just kind of relax and chill out for the rest of the day but you might have your work cut out for you if you're only able to do lead walks. So it's definitely something to bear in mind before purchasing a Whippet. Number seven is one that might stand out for a lot of you guys who already have pets. Some of you guys might have reptiles or hamsters or cats, maybe even birds like parrots or budgies. If you do have any of these smaller animals around the house already, I wouldn't advise you get a Whippet. Whippets do have an extremely high prey drive, and although they are trainable, I don't know if I would trust Freddy at home for any length of time if there was a small rabbit, hamster, guinea pig, bird, or anything like that. It's just really not worth the risk. And lastly, number eight, if you want a tough dog 
And this kind of comes into number one as well. Like if you're looking for a dog for protection, if you're looking for like a hard nut, rugged dog that you can kind of push around and wrestle and have fun with and go out on massive adventures, then a Whippet is definitely not dog for you. I did recently go on a really cool trip with Freddy and Anushka to Wales, and we did do a mountain walk, which I think Freddy did really enjoy. But if you're looking at doing that sort of hike and big adventure walk every single day or two to three times a week, I think there will be more appropriate breeds for you uh, to, to follow you along with your hobby of hiking or traveling around the UK or wherever it is that you're from. If you are planning on going up and down mountains and, you know, doing those longer walks where it could rain the temperatures up and down, I think there will definitely be more suitable dog breeds for you. And that's it. If you're a current Whippet owner and you can think of any more reasons why a Whippet could be a terrible pet for people who are looking into getting a Whippet, then get involved in the comment box below. I'm sure there's many more reasons that people can think of that I forgot here on my list. So um, I really look forward to hearing some of your guys, <laughs> uh, some of what you guys have to say in the comment box below. So I'm going to continue my cuddle with Freddy. I don't think you can see him. He's just here. Oh, dude, he's just a baby boy. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. He had um, chicken livers and chicken wings for dinner, and he is very satisfied. Yeah, don't forget to comment, like and subscribe and we will both see you in the next one. Cheers.